What is up everyone, today I want to talk about switches in Pokemon Go PvP and why it might be one of the only consistent mechanics in Pokemon Go PvP, but there's something else going on that makes it seem inconsistent. To give you an idea of what I want to talk about, I'll show you this example clip. These are two different matches, but it's the exact same scenario. This Mr. Mime is going to throw a Shadow Ball against my Hypno, and I'm going to switch out into my own Mr. Mime. And you're going to see the left side will be off sync, whilst the right side will be on sync. Right side switches instantly, on sync we did posing Mr. Mime, but the left side is off sync. It's a turn behind because my switch took a turn to register there. And what is going on there? Well, it's actually very, very simple and I'll show you in this video. So what is actually going on here is that whenever your opponent throws a charge move and there is still damage coming in from your side, your switch will take a turn. As you can see in this first example, I'm gonna get a full sneak with my Hypno, meaning there's still confusion damage left to be applied and my switch will take a turn. As you can see, I cannot switch until that confusion damage has registered and my Mr. Mime was off sync with theirs, uh, so that with theirs, so the switch took a turn. In this next example, you're going to see my Hypno wait for like three turns and uh, once the Mr. Mime is gonna throw the Shadow Ball here, my damage will have already registered. As you can see, the Final Confusion already hit the Mr. Mime. Shadow Ball is gonna come through, I'm gonna shield it up. And now, because that Confusion damage has already registered, I'm actually switch out. Zero turn switch and both Mr. Mimes are on sync. This is an extremely consistent mechanic. This next example, I'm actually gonna wait two turns with my Hypno, which means I don't get a full sneak in, but I do get a half sneak in. And it's just to show you that it, it doesn't have, even have to be a full move that's sneaking in. It can even just be a half move. As long as there's still damage left to apply, the switch is gonna take a turn. This works the same for any Pokemon, by the way, with any duration fast move. Here we have Dugong with a three turn fast move, which means that once Mr. Mime has thrown a Shadow Ball here, my final Ice Shard damage will have applied already. So no snuck through damage, which means my swap here should be instantaneously zero turns, as you can see, works again, because the confusions are aligned perfectly now if i wait a turn with my dugong as you're gonna see here once mr mime will throw the shadow ball uh the damage of my final eye shard won't have applied yet which means like i said again that uh the switch will take a turn again uh, this is just showing it's extremely consistent this mechanic however there is one very funky thing with this and that is that damage application doesn't always happen on the turn where a charge move is thrown which is best shown with one turn moves here you have altaria versus mr mime and if everything works as we know how it should work the dragon breath should apply in the same turn as the shadow ball is thrown as happens here which means i should get a zero turn switch does it happen yes it does confusions are aligned we have gotten the zero turn switch as expected thing is though that dragon breath applying right there on the turn of the shadow ball doesn't always happen there is a chance it's not a very large chance that that damage does not get applied and that is unfortunately a very big inconsistency in the game right here you might not have seen it but the dragon breath actually did not apply if you're gonna if you look real closely after the shadow ball is thrown you're gonna see a little bit of health taken away from the mr mime because the dragon breath actually snuck through and applies after the charge move look at this look at the health of the mr mime very little orange bar of health taken away and as you can see it was a one turn switch there so this is a big inconsistency in the game where sometimes when your opponent throws a charge move on the final turn of your fast move that damage won't apply until after the charge move and this will cause your switch to be one turn instead of the expected zero turn, uh, which should have happened there. And besides that, if your Pokeball dies, 
that fast moves won't actually do damage. So the inconsistency here is fast move damage not applying on the same turn always. But at least switching is consistent, you know? We can predict whether or not you're gonna get a zero or one turn switch. So keep that in mind for your battles. Whenever you see damage go through before or yeah, before the charge move is thrown, that means you're gonna get a zero turn switch. If you get a sneak, if you know damage still has to be applied after the after the opposing fast move, you're gonna get a one turn switch. Uh, knowing this information can be quite crucial in some games because you can kind of predict what's gonna happen in the next couple turns because of that. So yeah, keep that in mind. Anyway, I hope this was useful. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.